welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm super excited we are going to be doing a piercing video it's going to be kind of like a piercing tour we're going to tell you guys um just kind of some pain levels we're going to tell you guys all the piercings that we have um i did want to include yvette into this video because we actually went to go get a piercing together yeah. which i vlogged so you guys are going to see it in here but she's always the one that's down for like she's honestly the only one that i feel like we bond when it comes to piercings like I'll yeah be like, do you want to like randomly i'll just be like do you want to go get a piercing she's Literally. like yeah let's go like it's just our thing that we kind of like share together so i thought it would be great to have her here so if you guys are new to my channel hi my name is blanca yvette if you guys are not new to my channel then welcome back if you guys are new to my channel make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you guys can join the family this is my niece uh, nashma yvette hi. yes she also has the same name as me i feel like i always have to like clarify because people are still confused yeah um but we do have the same middle name and then we have obviously different first names um but yeah i'm so excited but before we get started with today's video we are sponsored by hellofresh i'm so excited we made an amazing meal so we are going to go into the sponsored portion and after the sponsored portion we are going to get right into the piercing video so if you guys want to go ahead and get started then just keep on watching okay, so i'm going to jump right into a voiceover so with hellofresh the recipes are so delicious with hellofresh produce does get to you faster than grocery store and it arrives at its peak freshness and flavor it also saves you time and stress effortlessly when you guys can save up to 28 percent off by using hellofresh versus grocery store shopping um also the packaging from hellofresh they use to ship your food is almost entirely made from recyclable and is already recycled content which is a plus and flexible will also fit your lifestyle feeding the whole family has never been easier with the larger boxes size for serving and more products with HelloFresh, it is committed to giving back. So HelloFresh is committed to making fresh, delicious food available now more than ever. And it has taken extra steps to keep its employee and customers safe. So if you guys want to go ahead and sign up with HelloFresh, all you guys have to do is go to HelloFresh.com and use my code EVETXO16 at checkout. want to go ahead and go to hellofresh.com you guys can go ahead and use my code evetxo16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts okay guys so we have my hellofresh meal um let me check the name the name of it is the chicken sausage spaghetti and i've actually had this one before and it's honestly one of my favorites so i'm so freaking excited to eat it today but it's so well You guys already know, I love pasta. And this one honestly is like one of my faves. I just love that the zucchini is just like perfecto. But if you guys want to go ahead and sign up with HelloFresh, all you guys have to do is go down to the description box, head over to HelloFresh.com and use my code that I will have up here at checkout. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Blanca Yvette. If you guys are not new here, then welcome back. Today's video is gonna be a super fun video. I'm so excited. Um, it's gonna be a little bit more of like vlog style, but not so much. Um, Yvette and I are actually going to be getting new piercings and I am so freaking excited. You guys already know I love piercings. I am all pimped out on my ears. I have my nipples pierced. Um, I had my belly button pierced for a minute, but then I took it off but i love piercings i just love 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 them so i am gonna go into like a detailed video a little bit later to let you guys know just like all the questions you guys had with my piercings you guys are always asking me where i get my jewelry are they real gold um pain tolerance cleaning all that stuff so this is going to be a very just fun and also like mini educational video uh to give you guys the 411 on all of my piercings but i'm super excited i'm on my way to go pick up yvette and i am going to grab her because she's also going to do some jewelry changes so we'll show you guys her ear we'll show you guys my ear and honestly me pimping out my ear like all the piercings that i have and 
all of the piercings that I do have have been like accumulated from like me being like 18 years old till now I think my very first piercing I got I was 16 behind my mom's back and I believe it was my lip and yeah it's crazy but I hope you guys do enjoy this video and if you guys are interested then just keep on watching Blanca picked me up and we came to get some boba and my dumb ass fucking dropped it I don't know how it happened but I did so yeah we were walking out because I was gonna come and fix my lipstick and I think I was just trying to come over here like really fast and I think I ran into the door I'm not too sure but I don't know what it was and then the guy was just laughing at me he said <laughs> that sucks like, yes, it does suck. So, Blanca is getting me another one. And I'm just here now waiting in the car. I was fixing my lipstick. I am tired of this masking stuff. Wait. Are they going to get mad that I said that? But my makeup is all off for my nose. And I just got smeared. And it's annoying. And now we're going to be even more late to our appointment because of me. Yes. Love that for us. Yay. How do I turn this shit off? Blanca, your camera is difficult now. I don't know how to turn this off. So this is the brand that I usually get all of my piercings from and it is called BVLA but They have the most beautiful pieces And they are a hundred percent real gold and real diamonds So the jewelry is a little pricey. I'll let you guys know like roughly once we're done here like what something like this would cost Eva getting ready I'm not ready <laughs> They're so cute. I told you, but we should do the Insta, the TikTok um, reveal mask. You know, where you take off your mask to see. I wonder if people, this is what people think we look like. You know? Or do you think that we take off our mask and we're like, oh shit, what the fuck was okay, that? Okay, ready? One, two. No, we're cute. <laughs> <laughs> What is this one called? Flat, I think. Yeah, you're right. How are you feeling, sweet cheeks? Nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous, honestly. How was that even? It? it actually wasn't bad. I, I thought it was going to be a lot worse. Sorry. You guys can see the needle. Amazing. Good and job. And we have the second one. What a tough mommy. How did that one feel? That one was a little bit more. She was like, passes She's out. Like, no, I'm kidding. a little bit more pressure, but it was, it was fine. Yeah. I feel like the second piercing always hurts more. You bet the champ. Yeah, she's She tall. killed it. <laughs> so I'm doing my second hole on top of my second hole. <laughs> Cute. I had the easy piercing though. Oh Stop. shit. All hurt. They all hurt. Did it hurt? No, not, not at all. Like I feel like it felt like I was putting a new freaking piercing in. Like, oh. a, like a regular jewelry. In. Okay. And of course, my next appointment is here. I don't want to. Yeah. But I have to. So we just picked up Elisa's because I hate driving to where we're going. Um, we're also gonna go get some jewelry for Yvette from this cute little spot that we found um, I wanted to give you guys some options just because obviously my jewelry is very pricey and not everybody wants to spend a thousand dollars on their ears um, So I am gonna give you guys a different alternative if you guys are in the LA area since Yvette she loves um, She pretty much uses all sterling silver, right? Yvette? Yeah. She has a few uh, real pieces in there that are real genuine diamonds but then she also has like sterling silver so i'm going to show you guys how you guys can obviously still pimp out your ear with more affordable jewelry so i'm super excited do you want to see the new piercing i just got right now yeah let's see if Where you can find go? it go? we went to uh, ogan poppy oh okay let's see if you can even you even could tell where my new piercing is at i'll show you when we get to the light it's in your ear though it's in my ear yeah 
Let's see if you I'm like, even where's can the space? You already have a full ear. <laughs> you sound, dude, you sound like the girls on my Instagram. So I posted that I was gonna get a new piercing. And then this girl was like, girl, do you even have room for in your ear? And then I told that to the girl that's piercing me. She's like, we will find room. I'm like, oh, there's, no, I still have room for at least what, like three, four more piercings yeah. on my ears? She for sure has more room. Yeah. One of my aunts, she used to have a pretty full cool ear. My ear looks so cute right now. Like I just, um, so basically we're also gonna be changing the lightning bolt that I have in my ear uh, to something a little bit cuter, but I told the girl that I needed to grow up and let rid get rid of the lightning bolts. I was like, what am I, 12? <laughs> so we're gonna and get that, rid of those. The lightning bolts are cool though. They look they're cute, but I know that I can make it, I can have something way better. A little bit more like, you adult. know, adult looking and cute. But. A little more sophisticated. Mm -hmm. Record back when Luis and I are at the light so he can see my ear. Okay, so we're finally at a light. Ten lights later. Okay, I'm gonna show you my ear. You ready? Let me know where my piercing's at. <laughs> Men don't notice anything, huh? This little one right here. Where? This, like you have two hoops and one under it? Nope, you have three tries. Um, did you get a second hoop? Where, where, what second hoop? Well, you have one hole here. Did you get another one here? No. Nope. Last chance. Maybe like right under this one. <laughs> <laughs> you suck. What? Which one was it? This, on top of this one, babe. This hoop. You see the little diamond on top of it? Wow. Oh, okay. I really yeah. had faith in you. I really thought he was going to know. Like, yeah. Hey, you do have a lot of them. Do you see how cute it looks? I know, it but that's up? like the smallest one. I just felt it's like so I was looking It's so cute and dainty, though. Didn't it make the biggest difference, though? Look at it now. It's more balanced out. You have like, uh, it looks like a diamond almost, like one, two, three, four. You get me? Mm -hmm. Like two on top. I mean, one on top, one on bottom. And two you men don't know how to appreciate anything, huh? Maybe you never noticed when it's I just the stuff. smallest detail. You didn't even notice the piercing I have on my other side. You don't have a piercing. Uh, I even noticed when your little big when you cut your little big old people. Hi, you put your big old people like that. I actually haven't gotten piercings. I think I took all my stuff off. I only have these right here. So I haven't gotten anything in a while. Do you at least like it? Is it cute? Yeah, I do. Okay. The other one, you already had it, right? This one? No, I did put the both sides. Okay. You don't notice anything. You know, men suck. This, they do. This That's the smallest piercing you guys have ever seen. Yeah, but it's so way. random. Like, you didn't think that was random placement? Like, I just have two piercings next to each other? You didn't think that was weird? <laughs> well, I'm telling you from <laughs> you here. You didn't think that was weird that I just had, like, a random little dot on top? That didn't look weird to you? No, I feel like I'm I'm so used to seeing a lot of them that I didn't think that. Yeah, there's so many one. that I, I you don't even know. I really didn't think that was the one. I really thought this one looked different. The black one? The one right in the bottom. Just because it stands out from the other one? <laughs> yeah, so I was looking for something bigger, I guess. <laughs> yeah, guys. Little things. I'll show you guys my ear when I get home. We are at the mall. So we're at the studs, guys. To pick out Yvette's ear. This is all the silver pieces. Okay. Love that. Yvette just got her little piercings. We're gonna pimp her out right now. And just so you guys can see price difference, like a lot of this stuff is literally like $20, $24, uh, $22. And you still get really cute um, jewelry. But obviously it's not real, but you get such beautiful pieces. Okay, so I'm excited. We're gonna show you guys just kind of like how our ears look, um, how our piercings look, and all that good stuff. So do you wanna start first or do you want me to start first? You go first. You go first? Okay. So all the piercings that I have, honestly, I don't even know how many I have. I don't know how many you there is in them. total. As I name them, count them. Okay. Okay. So she's gonna be like, one, two, three. <laughs> as I count, I mean, as I say, I'm, uh, she's gonna count. So on my ear, so on my right ear, I have my industrial bar, and then I have my cartilages. I have two cartilages, which I, I just added this cute little piece to. I added a chain, Yvette's obsessed with it. So cute. Um, and then I have my conch, I have my tragus, I have three earlobes and a top little earlobe one too so that's four on my left ear i have a double helix i have a flat 
also guys if you guys see this little disc on my flat this one is actually going through some healing process and my piercer likes to put these little discs to avoid any bumps happening so if you're somebody who is prone to bumps or anything like that definitely ask your piercer if they can add these to your piercings i have two cartilage piercings i have a middle cartilage i have three earlobes top one on top as well i have the date and then i have a trius um i have my nipples pierced and then i have my nose pierced twice and that's it 25 i counted 25 twice. yeah unless i'm tripping or it's 26 either 25 or 26 because i think i missed the one. Oh shit okay that sounds like a <laughs> lot i know i'm sorry <laughs> and then yvette mad. um which piercings do you have okay so on my face i have two nostrils my septum and then my tongue and then my nipples as mm -hmm. well we got those together yes another <laughs> spontaneous one that she just texted me uh -huh. and then my left ear is the one that i have it more pimped out which i have two cartilage i had three but one fell out i have my rook what is this conch, conch tragus and then i have three lobes that i never put earrings in i have a flat which she just got with me yes so these are the two that i got i got this three pierced because this one fell out too so i have a flat a tragus and then my d and then three lobes i thought you were gonna count. let me see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen, 17, 18 19, 20. 19 20 oh my yeah, god right we're there. crazy what the fuck it sounds like a lot when you say it. i know because i don't feel like i have that many piercings yeah, until either. like i see them yeah but i know the number one thing i do get a lot of compliments on my ears even not just on the internet but like even in person when people see like my ears they're like oh my god like your jewelry is so cute or like um your piercings are you're crazy oh it my god so how do you pretty. have so many piercings um but these have all been in the works since i was 18 years old like i have been i've always been into piercings and um i think the oldest piercing i have is my industrial, industrial. well besides my earlobes because i got those when i was a baby i yeah. had i actually had two um earlobe piercings since i was a baby which i've been wanting to take camila to get her second um earlobe done but i know like you guys know like even in mexico like there's kids that have like four piercings yeah. you know like they just pierce you out there like crazy yeah. but i have two of them uh, since i was a baby but i had my industrial bar and as far as like pain i guess we can kind of go through like them pretty quick because well not i'm not gonna zoom it in but i think we can go through them pretty quick because we have a lot of the similar ones yeah so we'll just kind of compare um right i mean um pain levels okay, okay? so the industrial bar i <laughs> got when i was 18 and it's by far the worst piercing i have ever had yeah like it hurt so bad watch she, me like what about the nipples nope. what about the nipples no, no but we'll get to the nipple part yeah. but the industrial bar was probably the, the worst, worst piercing it hurt so bad healing was horrible if i could rate the pain from my industrial bar i would rate it a 15 out of 10 yes like it hurt so bad and the piercing part didn't hurt it was the jewelry being insert that hurt like i don't know if it just like stretches it out or what but it was not it's fun. pretty big it's a pretty like, thick bar. It's a thick bar. It's that's a going thick through. bar, and it's two piercings yeah. in the cartilage, and the healing took about two years, maybe yeah. two and a half years for it to heal. Yeah. People, when they see my industrial, they're always like, even just yesterday when I was getting the change, she was like, "Dude, your industrial is so beautiful and so healed." And I was yeah. like, "Yeah, why? Well, this is like, like hello, oh, like I got it when I was 18, you know. So it's like I hope it's you know um, healed. So you yeah. used to have it. I had it and mine fell out too, and I just let it close up. I didn't even notice until like weeks later. And I was so sad that it came out because that one was my worst piercing ever. Yeah. And I haven't gotten it. She was trying to, to like tell me to get it when I got these. Yeah. But I was like, I can't, dude. And like, some I girl really got can't. pierced when yeah. you were there. And she was like, Oh, it was nothing. And I'm like, Nah, bitch, that yeah. shit hurts. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know that hurt. Yeah. And it was it was a bad. And maybe I want to think that maybe also it had to do me with who was piercing me, but like i know that the guy that pierced me before he was the one that did all my piercings before and he used to do an amazing job but you yeah. didn't like it you had a horrible experience and then key like not kilo they're not kilos because they don't they're not scarring but the little bumps you get oh yeah i used to get them so much Are you with that piercing yes but. like they would like i still kind of randomly get them sometimes and then like i'll just leave it alone yeah. and then they'll go away yeah um and the next one's tragus's one out of ten yeah like just like the pinch yeah um conch 
<laughs> that didn't really hurt either. That one wasn't bad either. That was like maybe like a one out of yeah, maybe like a two. Yeah. It had a little bit of pain. The crunch was bad. Healing was also pretty good. Like it, it took a little longer, maybe like six seven months, but it wasn't yeah. like crazy. Yeah. And it also helps that if you sleep, if you're like a side sleeper because it's in your ear. It doesn't really bother you. Yeah. Also, they when I got my industrial bar, the girl recommended me to sleep with the travel pillow. Oh yeah, because it has a hole. hole. So you're gonna literally put your ear inside the hole. So it's not like that's actually it around. pretty smart. Yeah. Because you do it. Those there's there's those piercings that when you sleep on them, you're like ah, yeah. what the hell, you know? Yeah. Um, the flat you just recently got. Yeah, it. that one was painless. Nothing. I know. Like it went through like butter. Like this one was just like I thought it was gonna hurt because it's like. It's not like random but, placement. Yeah. It does throb a little though. Yeah. I don't know if it's because like there's little veins. No, there it's a little what? tender. Like when I touch it, it's a little tender. Obviously, because I sleep on it too. But yeah, it was such an easy piercing to get. And even the healing. So I'm yeah. healing already a flat. She's currently healing a yeah. flat, and it looks beautiful. I mean, mine is healing perfectly. My date. Oh yeah. So my date is still healing. I'm almost around six, seven months out with my date, and that one has been giving me more problems than the flat, and I pierced that one after. Yeah. But the date, she. I got it. It hurt like a bitch. She said it didn't it hurt. Mine didn't hurt. And then my healing process was two years. So I've already been having it for like four years, and it, it took like two years for it to like really heal. Pain tolerance. What do you think? Ten. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. When she told me that, and I was so scared. It was like oh right under. God. It was like my industrial. That's like top, and then it's my date that yeah. really hurt. Cause she told me she was like, I don't know. And then the guy was like, You're gonna be fine. I mean, the girl was like, You're gonna be fine. It was a guy or a girl. It was a guy. It was a guy. He was like, You're gonna be fine. And mind you, the guy that pierced me, he was the only one that said yes to piercing yeah. me. Yeah. Because everybody had turned me down. He said that my ear, basically the way that it's shaped, there's not enough space for the conch for it to like go in he was like no he's like you're good he's like i was like okay yeah. so i'm just trusting you right now to like not make me go cute. through pain yeah it does but i just hate that he pierced me so i'm used to uh paying for like good quality um jewelry when i get pierced and i went to this place and he said that he didn't recommend for me to do like a gold uh jewelry so it's bothering me that it's been taking so long and i can't change it because i it's the only like titanium i think it's titanium steel mm -hmm. piercing that i have and i want to say that this is why it's taking so long to heal but then you're saying that it was like that too. But I feel like if uh, I had better jewelry, it might be healing. Well, my I friend heal has it too, and hers took hella long for really? it to heal. Because yeah. I feel like I heal fast. Like, Karina tells me all the time that I'm an alien because I be healing. <laughs> like, I just yeah. be healing. You no, know? I think it's just that piercing because I'm telling you, my friend has it, and yeah. hers took forever to heal them yet. Yeah, let me know in the comments below if you guys had a problem with like the comments. And then but... this one, this piercing also helps with like migraines. I mean, yeah so that's why she got it right it was yeah the that, well that's why i had heard i had told her i was like hey i saw on the internet that it apparently helps with migraines yeah. i suffer from migraines like really really bad migraines and i honestly haven't really been having like headaches or anything it works yeah i really haven't not that I, now that i think about it, i haven't really been having like headaches more like tension headaches not migraines you want truffle fries truffle fries mm -hmm. i do you know why do they look powdery because i guess that's the cheese i didn't eat them really they're cool Oh, Thank you. My husband always feeding me. Feeding us. Uh-huh. What did you order? Nothing. Oh, he didn't ask you? No. <laughs> we'll order something right now. Um, so the healing with that one, I definitely for me pain level for the date, I wanna say it's like a two, a one. There's no fucking way. It didn't hurt Eve. You saw. I didn't even flinch. when they switched it out, I was in pain. I didn't even flinch. You didn't, but that one hurt. I didn't even flinch. I was just like, okay, cool. That one. She hurt. was like, there's no way. I was like, I swear. I think I even went on a route on Instagram. Yeah. I was like, it didn't hurt. So those and then earlobe piercings, those don't hurt at all. No. Earlobe, um, I've gotten the gun ones obviously when i was little but now as an adult we only do needles mm -hmm. um please do not get like piercings with the gun because it's gonna first of all it's gonna be a lot of damage to like the cartilage or your earlobe because you're literally piercing with the actual piercing yeah i know that they say that with babies it's okay because like their skin's like very, very like, thin thin mm -hmm. like you can pierce them but as an adult like i would definitely not recommend to be piercing your ears with a gun yeah. definitely go with a needle um but all the ones that i've done on my earlobe literally no pain yeah same um traguses no pain 
Um, I think that's it, right? Cartilage piercings, those are pretty. Those mobile. are good too. You would think that those would hurt, but no, they don't hurt. They don't hurt. The one that also kind of hurt was the Rook, which is this one. Oh, that one's thick. Though. Yeah, this one's really thick. So she was I telling got me these, to try to get it. Yeah, I have. I got these two at the same time, the Conch and the Rook, mm -hmm. and the Rook hurt way more than the Rook because you can literally feel like it tugging like in your ear. Wow. But it's a cute person. Yeah, she's I been like telling it. me like you should get it. I'm like, uh, yeah. that one scares me actually. But then the the date did too. Yeah. For a minute, the date would scare me. Cause that's a pretty so thick, thick part too. Yeah, but no, I had a good. But then again, also guys, I will admit, I have a very high tolerance yeah. for pain, and so does Yvette. So for her to be like, ah, this one hurt, scared me, but. I took it like a champ. Yeah, she did. I took it like a champ. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's because after I gave birth, so nothing compared to I me know, giving seriously. birth. And everything's like painless now. Um, and then as far as like, I think those are it. Nipples. I actually have a whole video on my nipple piercings. If you guys want like actual details, I'll link it down below. But what was your experience? It was amazing, honestly. Like a one. Yeah. <laughs> like I didn't. The second one, you can feel it a little bit more, but it's not like pain. It's more kind of like, like pressure. I yeah. want to say. And it's good, honestly. But yeah. it also depends on who you go with because... Yes. She so, took her friend. Yeah. Tell them about oh, that. my God. So I took my friend to go get her nipples pierced. And we just went to, like, some random shop, like, around Don't my Don't do apartment. random shops. Yeah, no. And, yeah, they fucked her up because she, when she got the first one, the girl was just tugging her, like, bad. And I was just thinking, like, I know that's not supposed to be happening. Like, that's just supposed to, like, slide in. And yeah. she ended up passing out. Like, she was like, I feel dizzy. Like, I don't feel good. And I told her, I was like, if you don't want to get the second one, like, we don't, don't. have to. Yeah. Like, we can leave. We can come back. Obviously, we weren't going to come back. But I was just telling her so, like, we can just dip. Yeah. And she was like, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. And then once they did the second one, that's when she passed out. Like, she was like, I have to lay down. And she laid down. And she just closed her eyes. And I was like, oh, my God. Why did I do this to her? Yeah. I felt and so I, bad. And I told her, I was like, why would you take her here when we went to, to the other place? We actually went to or um, Ancient Adornments. And they're amazing piercers there. Yeah. I've talked very highly about them before. Now we go to a place called Oak and Poppy, which we found an amazing piercer that we go to all the time. Her mm -hmm. name is um, Carrie. Yes. And she's bomb. Like, she pierces amazing. So I love that when we find people, we stick to to them you know yeah. um ancient adornments all the piercers are actually really really good she he got she got hers done with the owner yeah i got mine done with peggy which is the girl that's there i think she's the only girl that's in there yeah I think um so. but she's really good she's done a lot of my piercings already and our experience was amazing karina yvette and myself we all got our nipples pierced together not one of us had a bad uh like experience yeah they all felt like honestly like nothing like yeah i was surprised because i have heard horror stories of people getting their nipples pierced mm -hmm. and then passing out yeah you know so i was just like oh my god my blood sugar is gonna go down no, like, like i, I didn't even bleed you bled a I little bled bit, a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah and like we were able to sleep on them but i was bleeding from where my from my actual nipple remember oh, yeah because i i had just given i didn't just give birth but like obviously i breastfed so like my blood was coming out of my nipple and then i was like what the like, so then I told the girls, like, is this normal? She's like, yeah, because you breastfed. I was like, girl, I was <laughs> like, why is it coming out of this hole and not the one that you pierced? Sorry. Am I boring you? No, sorry. sorry. <laughs> oh, Lisa's number two. Oh my no. god, I'm boring. <laughs> no. I look really early today, okay? Oh, so, um, yeah, so that's kind of the nipple piercings. And yeah. then you have different ones that I don't have. Well, let's do the nose ones. Oh, the um, nose. nose ones, my normal nose piercing, it doesn't hurt, it just makes you cry. Yeah. Because it kind of like shocks you a little. You know, like when you pull out a nose hair? Yeah. That's yeah. what it feels like. Like when you pull out a nose hair yeah. and you're just kind of like, oh shit, and your eye waters. Um, I have two of them side by side. And I feel like the second one hurt a little bit more than the first one. Um, maybe because I just forgot what the feeling was. Yeah. I feel like I had forgot what it felt like. So I was just kind of like, oh shit. Like I didn't expect that yeah. one, but it wasn't bad. I, I say the nose piercing is probably like a four. The least painful piercing. To ever. me, it was like a four. Yeah. Yeah. Like a four. Yeah. What about your little cosita aquí? Oh, my septum? You would think that this one hurt and it didn't. No. Like it really didn't. Well, you took me, remember? I don't remember. I you think I've been there for all your patients except the other nose one. Yeah. Yeah. She didn't like when I got this one. Yeah. Now I like it though. It yeah. me. But I have these two and honestly my septum, like it's one of my favorite piercings. I don't have it out often. But when I do have it out, I'm like, okay. Like, I feel it's like you cute. have to be a type of girl to pull off the septum piercing and Eva is that girl. Like she, it just looks so cute on her when she gets her when she does her makeup. And I feel like I look hair. cute when I get ready. Yeah, not when I look like this. <laughs> her dark hair, yeah. her makeup, like her liner, like she just looks like a bad bitch with it. Yeah, there's yeah. those piercings that 
you're like okay you look like a bad bitch once yeah. you get tired of that one my sister and you decide to take it out you should do the one that's in here i want to you should do that one but don't do it together because you're just gonna look <laughs> crazy <laughs> well i don't really use this one but i feel like i wouldn't take it out because i actually really like it from when i do want it i heard that if you did this one you can only keep it for like like two or three years yeah because it starts like messing with your enamel or something uh -huh. like that with yeah. your gums and then i think it can make your like a dent into your teeth oh shit right here in the front oh. i also i want i've been wanting this one but i, I feel like i wouldn't do it because like it's gonna mess up my teeth and then what about your tongue my tongue Dude, that one was a murder scene. She says that, but I feel like the pain wasn't bad. The healing, though, that was like the worst. Well, because she couldn't eat. That's yeah. all I mean. She was mad. Like, <laughs> she was oh, so pissed. Oh my god, I couldn't. Like, I felt so desesperada with it because I was just like, bro, I can't eat. I couldn't <laughs> swallow right. Like, it was just horrible. And it lasted for four days, and I just didn't like it. Yeah. Like, my tongue was so fat. And then one of the days, like, it just started bleeding hella random, remember? Yeah. And it was just, like, dripping a lot of blood. And I was just like, why did I get this? Yeah, she was regretting it for a minute. I was. She was regretting it when my mom made flautas. <laughs> oh, my God. And then they, they had bought wings the next day, too. Yeah. And I was like, wow. I couldn't eat she anything. I couldn't eat, not even noodles, like, pastas. Like, I couldn't yeah. eat, like, at all. Because it was really hurting. But now, I love it. Yeah. It's, and like, it looks cute. probably my favorite. I, I was not a fan of it. I'm no. going to be completely honest. I've never been a fan of, like, tongue piercings. I feel like tongue piercings look really hot on men. But on girls, like, I always thought that girls with tongue piercings look like they were dirty. Like, they sucked a lot of <laughs> dick, you know? <laughs> and I would tell her, I'm like, it's going to look like you're going to suck some dick. And then she was like, well. No, I'm kidding. But now that she has it on, like... It's cute. And I feel like we all she, forgive. And obviously because she's not a dirty girl, like obviously, yeah. you know, but to me, I don't know why I always thought the the tongue one just didn't look cute on girls. Like I always yeah. just saw it really nice on men. I'm like, mm, me being sexist. But now that I have it, like it's grown on me. She looks cute with it. And um yeah. But I think that's all our piercings, right? Yeah. So when oh, we're going to the next one. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. Um, but yeah, I think we should probably go get another piercing soon. I came back um, yesterday yeah. and I told her, I mean, I told to text her yesterday and I was like, I'm ready for the next piercings. Yes. Like, I know which ones I want to do. So I'll bring you guys along for that too. The only thing is that I'm still healing some of them. So I want to make sure those are healed before I like put any more trauma into like my ear. Yeah. Be very careful when it comes to stuff like that too. Um, you want to make sure that you're taking your time with the healing process because I also learned that if you're healing too many piercings at once it actually makes the process a lot longer for healing mm -hmm. because your body's just kind of like it's going through like that trauma, trauma, trauma of trauma. like not understanding why your body's not naturally healing these piercings um so yeah i just want to give my ears a little bit of like time. time to rest chill and then we'll go in there and like start i know i feel out. like we've been getting pier a lot of piercings lately yeah we're fun i like it <laughs> so yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and we were able to answer some of your guys's questions um just little recommendations that have helped me with like the healing process and making sure that uh, my ears are like staying clean a lot of you guys were asking about like how do i avoid bumps yeah i'm gonna be honest with you guys i feel like we do really good with taking care of our piercings yeah. but i feel like it's because we've also had piercings for so long yeah um advice number one don't touch them don't mess with them don't um me like just your hands are dirty like don't touch yeah. them just kind of let them be i also don't really use much on my ears like i just let them kind of rinse with water and mm -hmm. soap in the shower um i just kind of like wash my ears with like soap and that's it i yeah. don't really try to put anything if my ears like really really infected i know that they say to not put rubbing alcohol in your ear but i do i'm sorry i yeah. do i remember you used to do i that. do and i feel like it, it dries it up but even though piercers say don't do it because it dries it up i feel like it actually it has helps. helped yeah. my ears heal don't take advice from me though because i'm not a piercer i'm like no i'm not a piercer <laughs> but i actually personally do 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 use rubbing alcohol i don't use it for the healing process though yeah. i only use it if i have a bolita and i do notice that this is what i do and don't be like me okay but i usually if i have a bolita i will literally squeeze it out I, and then I put rubby and alcohol and I squeeze it and I hold it. Miss girl. Yeah, I just hold it and then it goes away. The, I'm sorry. I was, no, yes, it hurts a oh. lot. But it works for me. And I, I and you know who did it for me, Miguel? Of course. He was the one who like was like, bitch, just do it. Just t just squeeze it out. Like squeeze out all the blood that's in there. Like it's pus that's coming out. Then we would just hold it with like either peroxide or like alcohol, and it would just heal. 
But like I said, don't be like me because it might not work for everybody. If you have a friend like Miguel, get away. Yeah, because he's always going to make me do shit. But he, he helps me though. It works, you know? Oh. And I've also heard that also aspirin. If you um, cut up an aspirin pill and you put and water, water and then you put it on overnight, it'll get rid of the bumps. Oh, shit. So that's stuff that like has... Um, help but mind you like please listen to your piercer whatever they recommend but as far as like me and my healing process like I don't get bumps on my ears they're good the only one that has bumps right now is actually my Dave and I'm telling you guys this is the one that has been giving me a really 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 hard time and my piercer keeps telling me to just not touch it and that's kind of what I'm just trying to do not touch it but a bitch is getting desperate so <laughs> yeah I'm not gonna take it out though like I'm just gonna let it do its thing um but yeah I think that is it guys I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you guys give this video a huge thumbs up sorry that I took so long um, and I hope it was worth the wait and you guys were able to see the blings in my ears and in Yvette's ears I'm gonna link a bunch of cute little websites for you downstairs downstairs <laughs> down below <laughs> down below for you guys to click um, so you guys can pick up some cute jewelry mm -hmm. or just places that we kind of like to shop around in case you guys you know don't have a place in the in your area that has like really cute jewelry and you don't want to spend a lot of money because I'm here to help you guys save. If you guys cannot spend $1,000 on real jewelry, then that's completely fine. You guys can still make your ear look super, super cute. Um, and we're going to put you guys on some cute just jewelry pieces that we love. But I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Love you guys.